Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to the gym right after this. So I'm gonna show you guys when I'm gonna eat for breakfast. Um, and I'm going to show you my other meals throughout the day, but I can't show you dinner because I have to go to work, but I will show you what I will be making for lunch. So stay tuned. First, for this meal, all you will need is one plate. You will need a handful of uncooked spinach, two jumbo eggs. You can use three depending on how many eggs you want in your own omelet. I don't personally love eggs so much that I would want to eat a large portion in the morning. So sometimes I eat boiled eggs or I just scramble one or two. And you will also need one tomato. The tomato is optional if you don't like tomatoes. If you like onions instead or green or red peppers, you can swap those out. But I happen to be in the mood for tomatoes today, even though I like all three of those vegetables. All right guys, so now I've chopped up my tomato. It's going to be time to move on to the eggs here in a second. So we will just get a bowl, crack those babies open. You can throw in whatever seasonings you like. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of paprika, a tiny pinch of salt, and a little bit of pepper. So I'll meet you guys back at the stove. While my skillet is getting hot, I'm gonna um, use some of this extra virgin olive oil. Um, there, it doesn't matter which brand, but I'm going to use that as my coating so that my eggs don't stick to the pan. Um, so again, it doesn't matter what kind of olive oil you get. They're all about the same price. So I said, you know, I'm going to pick the one with the prettiest bottle. But also remember when it comes to olive oil, you do not need a lot at all. I probably even poured too, poured too much in there just now. But you're just going to move it around your pan so that it gets even. All right, so my eggs are scrambled. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the skillet. See how that skillet is the perfect size for an omelet? So that's why you wanna use maybe a smaller skillet. You can, um, you know, tear your spinach up a lot. Told you, you really don't need too much. I am already have too much spinach in here. That's okay, I'll just save it for the rest in the morning. Grab those tomatoes, sprinkle those in there, and you just let it cook. You guys know how an omelet goes. You let that baby cook, and then you enjoy later. And I'm going to have this with a glass of water and maybe a, a few pieces of mango on the side. Um, I don't, I try not to drink any soda, any juices. I mean, I may have orange juice every once in a while, but I really try not to. So let that omelet be beautiful. I'll see you guys back in the kitchen when it's done. For breakfast, quick and easy omelet with a couple of uh, fruits on the side and a glass of water. It was very easy. It'll probably take you less than 10 minutes to cook. So I'm going to go run to the gym and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And then also leave comments down below if you have any ideas of what to eat as a healthy pre-workout breakfast. I'd love to know. I am not a health expert. I'm just doing what I know best for healthy eating. And I would love to hear some suggestions from you guys. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let it go. Let it go. Take our bodies higher